today. When I start to talk about that, you will need to know when I speak so highly. That man can change your life from zero to hero in no time. He can take you from the rough to your grace. He's a man. He's as faithful as he's faithful. You will not see him changing. No, no, no. It is not his way. And that your weakest he is strong. When you are blind, that he still sees. So can we brag about Tolua? Oh, oh. I say, can we brag about to go? Someone say, God will love you. But come on, to Kwakalanyo. Yes, to Kwakalanyo. Mungu to Kwakalanyo. Ruhanga to Agalanyo. Mukama to Magalanyera. A cause every you can see. Love you, yes, yes, we love you. Can we brag about Jehovah? Can we brag about Jesus? Can we brag about Mungu? I said, can we brag about Katona? Oh yes, we love you, Jesus. Yes, we love you, Jesus. Listen up. There is no beautiful thing you get if all I want say yes. The beginning of all power You will not see him changing No, 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 it is not his way He is commander of the sun He is the caller of the moon I say, can we brag about to go to Yeah, 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 yeah Can we brag about Jesus, DJ Check out what we want to meet us Masima Wakera, Nadura Gira, Tiru Wakera, Ebi Tumia Chuka, Ebi Wajala Njia Jisirisa, Ebi Tumia Teo Katona, Bwe Mambuza, Ebi Chakala Nabari Na Chagamba, Awo, just my friends to come here and support me for a course that I thought um, I would want to you know ooh, contribute to and this right here shows me that God loves me God has put beautiful human beings in my life 
There is not a single person here that was invited by a staff member, a planner, or, or an assistant, or anyone. Everybody that's here was invited by me because they hold a place in my heart. Now, it's one thing to have people in your life, and it's another to have people who, who are there, people who have got your back. People who won't, won't question, you know, you wake up, we didn't plan like for months. Actually what happened is that for a long time I, I, I kind of cancelled it. You know the devil works. Because I really almost cancelled this. I was like, let me not just do it. I mean, it's okay. But a part of me knew that what I saw one day and I, I played, in my heart I said I would want to make that better. I knew that somehow, somewhere, there must be a person in that situation who really needs this. So I woke up and said, let's just do it. None of you got this invitation like two months ago. No. So how can I thank you? I know you're my friends. I know we've been through so much. I know we have been there for each other. But I didn't think that you'd be there for me this way. It means so much to me. So many times we have people in our lives. We go out all night, we spend everything, you know. And if on one very important day, and when it actually matters to me, I invite you and you're not able to, I mean, to be there, it sends a different message. If I invite you on such a thing that is so dear to me and you're able to understand, you're able to show up and you're able to support and I know for sure that God has put you in my life for a reason. For everybody that's in this room, I love you, I'll be there for you and I don't know, you're really my friend. Thank, I thank God so much for my circle because this is it really, you know. Everybody that I told just ran, ran, ran. And even when I was almost giving up, like, no, no, don't worry. You got this, you got this. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I will be there. I can't, I can't, I can't thank you enough. A couple of people couldn't, well, some are still on the way, but <laughs> I know, right? Clearly, they will. But I know for sure that even those five, those nine that were remaining with, I'm sure that they are going to, to actually cover them because they were sending apologies and they're like, no, let me contribute anyway. And also, there's nobody I gave a pledge card out of here. Everybody got it right here, you know. So, and while we were, thank you also for posting stuff because I think while we were doing that, we, someone literally sent us $600 just like that for whatever it is that we are doing here. So, I, 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 it, it makes me feel that People are concerned, people are human. And it makes me so happy that each time you're there for someone, it's worth it. Because for each and every one of you that has been in my life, I am so proud that I was in your life. I'm so proud that we have shared something because today you have supported me. I thank you. I'll tell you something about the Cancer Charity Foundation. I got to know about it about 10 years ago and everything changed for me. I was a young guy in business and a friend of mine asked me to come see their friends. And I went, that was the first time I went to the Cancer Institute. I don't think I slept for like days. I phoned children, I phoned mothers, I phoned oh, oh, people on the floor outside just waiting to see doctors people's heads are like swollen until where it, it was a very very sorry state i started then to you know carry a few things i didn't have much and i didn't ask for support at that point i just decided to just buy foodstuffs carry go there maybe buy something today go and share but it will always be tiny how much can you really do if you're one person so later I found about this, the Cancer Charity Foundation. Now what they do is that they go to the hospital, Mulago, and they look out for the people that are actually helpless because they have, they come from all sorts of places, up country, and they have no one. Some have no one looking after them. Some have someone looking. You should actually go there yourselves if you can't find time. 
and they, you know, they are sleeping outside because they're waiting probably at one point to see a doctor or to get medication or to, you know, to do something. So I, in my heart, so they said, uh, I mean, I knew that that's what they do. So they go there, then they pick out those and then they bring them. Find shelter, put them in a home, find shelter, find bendings, find food and transport them to and fro. Some make it, I mean, get a little bit better, some don't. Uh, when they pass on, they pass on. It used to hurt me so much whenever I would go and then I would find this person. Next time I think I'm going to, especially children, next time I would think I'm going to find them and they tell me, no, that one died. And I would feel so bad. So, so I said that. Um, that small thing that I can, that you can do with cancer I said, let me just make it a little comfortable, you know, for, for you. If you can have just a bed, a mattress, and a blanket with bed sheets, you know. Maybe it will be warm. Maybe it will, I might not have cured the cancer, but maybe you'll be a little bit comfortable just for the time that you still have. And that's how they started. I said, let me find a way to buy beds. I went there and the bed, so the bed that you are giving is a full bed. So the bed has a decker and it's a two bed and has a mattress on it covered in uh, leather because they can't use the, the, the plain mattresses because of, you know, they are sick, there's blood, there's everything. And also for hygiene purposes. And then it has also a blanket and it has bed sheets. And also we wanted to say, if you are here and you have, let's say, three pairs of bed sheets at home, they're not torn and they're not very old. And you know that you can, I, I personally have them that I know I don't use anymore because maybe colors changed, maybe I got new ones, you know. If you have those that are really in good place, please kindly just give them to me. We will clean them, we'll iron them, we'll make them worthy of somebody else because Rather than sleep on the floor, I'd rather have the bedding that somebody else does, is not using at home. So if you have, I'm really more than happy to take them and organize them, and they'll be nice to package. Also, if you want to escort me, go make these beds and put them up, and please, I would love that. <laughs> I'm here. Fun fact, I almost wanted to order all these beds in pink, so that the whole house is full of pink beds. <laughs> but I opted for white. And we shall have just white beds and try to do the beddings. We can't really do so much, but we will do the best that we can. So for me, I figured that maybe coming up with this alone might take me years, might take me a lot of time. And I said, why don't I ask my friends? Because I, yeah. Yay. You're giving me a pair of bedsheets? Yay. Oh, thank you, Christabel. <laughs> Thank you. So I said, why don't I talk to my friends? We have hung out. We have been friends. We know each other. A couple of people might be able to kind of come. And also, you never know, because people have big hearts, and if you don't try it, you might not know. I, in me, I thought that maybe, and I was really nervous. I was like, okay, maybe. If we can just make it to 10, I'll be okay. We'll have maybe saved something, you know. But, honey, 24 million. Oh, Nashimka Manu, who am I? <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much from my heart. I owe you so much, and if you ever need me, you know I'm here. You know. But I also want to thank people that uh, I came through just to support people that have been a part of this journey. Uh, three years ago, we started celebrating people. And the reason I really did that is because so many times I just found myself blessed and I found there was always somebody to help, to say, hey, here's another hand, hey, this, you know. I, I, I don't come from riches, but I haven't lacked, you know. It means that the people, God has put people out there that are going to be kind, that are going to have big hearts, that are going to actually help you, you know. So if someone can put a person in your life and they're able to change your life like that, the little that you can, why don't you also extend it, you know? Just moving ahead and just saying, hey, have a new pair of shoes, it, it wouldn't hurt anyone. So we, as we were saying, we celebrated the women that, you know, the janitors in public bathrooms and stuff. 
and it was beautiful, it was life changing. Now, I was really a little bit hurt because our ladies couldn't make it here today, this evening. And quite frankly, I learned a lot from that process also because they made the, the process a little more difficult for them to get that permission for this particular day. And um, it made me open my eyes and I said, I don't know why we as women would be the same people that we want to block other people. So if I see that you're, you're happy, somebody is saying something, I want to come in and close the door so you don't get that. But why, you know? It's, it's terrible, it's so terrible. But at the end of the day, we say no matter what, we're still going to go ahead and give them exactly what they deserved. And these were from everyone. You can imagine when you say, guys, who's your favorite traffic officer? And everybody did, well, the descriptions were interesting, you know. They're like, there's this Nalongo, he is always, she's short, very like with legs and, oh, we laughed. It was funny, but we were able to know who it was. And with us, so each year we love to celebrate each other, you know. Last year we celebrated as girlfriends, we were talked about so many things, and many of you were there actually. We talked about so many, that same picture over there. We talked about so many different things, but also we were able to help Rebecca and Naiga. I was so touched when I saw that. I don't think I could have handled. But um, I mean, just because of the small thing that she did, it helped a bigger, you know, cause. And somebody's out there saying, thank you, I can still look at my children. It is, I think that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And they say the hand that gives is the one that receives. God, I just pray that he will multiply everything. Everything. Wherever you go, please. I pray that he will multiply it. And that you will never lack. And that things that you have done today will run. And somebody out there will be kind to you, will be good to you at one point. And it always happens. I want to thank you so much. I really want to thank you. I want to thank you, Malaika, for being a part of this from the beginning. And always showing up and giving your talent and giving everything that we have. You have never said, oh, let me see. No, I can never take it for granted. Thank you. Thank you. Your talent makes so much money. Who am I to come here and play with it and be like, ah, ah that's Malaika. She's mine. She should be able. I don't take it for granted. I wanted to say a special thank you to people that really have supported me. I want to say thank you to Essie last year. You know what you did. I approached her and she came and gave me Dico for free and just set up a, that beautiful space. I don't even think we because when you look at it, I think that's something she could have probably charged 30 million for. We know what Dico is in these days. So she showed up, she didn't hesitate. She came and she held Essie. Essie events. Please stand up and see you. <laughs> yeah, you're a mess like me. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for ha having you here today. It's really a blessing. Thank you so much. I wanted to thank Mona Faithful. Mona, from day one. Mona, if I know people, I know that you're my friend. And I will be your friend. Thank you. And I know that doors open because you have a very giving heart and a very generous heart. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. We're going to be richer this next year, so we must do this. Because next year we're going to be richer. Thank you so much, people. Thank you for taking the time. I want to thank you for it. Thanks, Mommy. Thanks, Mommy. And my mother-in-law, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy is my mommy-in-law. Anyway, maybe I don't take this Bambi, but that message to them. Thank you so much. And Malaika, I think I'll give this back to you. Thank you. May God.